Hello guys, Crispy here and welcome back to another video. It is well my friends, I'm going to be testing the Intel Iris Xe graphics integrated in the i5 11320H CPU in GTA 5. You can check out all of the GPU specs right here in Tech Power Up GPU Z. We are of course using the latest drivers available for it. And uh, over on the left you can check out the i5 11320H, 3.2 GHz, but it actually goes way higher while gaming. I will show you the clock speeds while we're playing it. We're also using utilizing 16 gigabytes of 3200 megahertz RAM. This is actually in quad channel mode, interestingly. This is a mini PC by Minis Forum. It's a TH50. And again, we got the Intel Iris Xe graphics right here, which can actually use up to eight gigabytes of RAM as VRAM. So let's get right into the game, shall we? And as usual, let's go over the settings first. We're playing in DirectX 11, 1080p resolution, using the lowest settings, which are the normal settings settings in this game. I want to check it out first at these settings to see how well it performs, of course, and then we're also going to test it out on high and maybe some very high settings. Advanced settings are all turned off and they will remain like this throughout this video because these are extremely intensive and let's do this. All right, is it kept to 60? No, it isn't. Okay, so let's get out of here and as you can see, GP utilization is not really completely maxed out. I guess this is due to the driver's problem probably not being like fully polished yet. It actually uh, blinked there for a second, what the hell? But yeah, I've seen a lot of people saying that they can't really get full utilization out of their Intel Iris XC GPUs as well. It's probably a driver issue because I think this CPU at 4.3 gigahertz, which is what it's running at right now, um, can run this game absolutely fine. It is a good architecture in single core performance. It has four cores and eight threads, oh boy. And I mean, it's just Fast enough to run the game absolutely fine at 60 plus FPS in my opinion if paired with a stronger a stronger, <laughs> a stronger dedicated GPU. We can still get around 60 FPS on average so no problems there. What the hell? That girl just jumped in there. Okay, anyways. Oh, oh, okay. We're good, we're good. We only hit like a single person I think. That's not too bad. Oh. Here we go, here we go, we got this, let's visit our boy right now. Uh, so over here, it's still not really dropping all that much, even inside of bushes, look at that. It's probably because, again, GPU utilization is not really maxed out usually. Hello Jack, how's it going? Looking beautiful today, as usual. Thank you, I love you too, buddy. Oh, little stutter right there, by the way, first of the video, so no problems there. Maybe it was a one-off, and I was just petting him okay he knows he knows and he's fine with that so yeah just just go away jack uh, nice to meet you again okay um let's see the fps here these bushes are extremely intensive and it doesn't really drop all that much at 1080p resolution oh i am so sorry rex bob didn't die huh god damn it you bastard it's all your fault if you didn't come with rex only you would be dead. And again, it wasn't me, it was Bob, all right? So please like the video. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is pretty good. Around 50 to 60 most of the time, 61 on average right there. It's dropping a little bit more right now, um, driving fast through the city here. All right, 1600 by 900, still using the lowest normal settings here. And uh, let's do this. So it seems uh, maybe we gained a few more FPS here. I'm not sure. But it's around the same thing, isn't it? I mean, I, I, yeah, it is. It still drops into the lower 50s at times, and uh, GPU utilization, however, is a little bit lower. So maybe, just maybe, the CPU is actually a bottleneck here, which, again, I find really weird because the single core performance on this CPU is really strong, and again, you only need. Um, four cores and four threads to play it smoothly and we ha we got four cores and eight threads I'm thinking you know I I'm trying to think about what I'm gonna say and I crash against things oh boy right we're good though we're good uh, by the way if you're just walking around you're gonna see 60 plus basically because uh, you're not in a car driving fast and rendering things fast I guess these Intel iGPU still need a few driver updates so we are able to achieve full utilization out of them but considering that this one at least hasn't had a driver update in almost a year not really sure if we will get there honestly 
<laughs> Anyways, guys, I, I, I'm gonna stop it there since it's pretty much the same thing as 1080p. So 1280 by 720, and this is it. Still the same settings, of course. I guess we might see a few, maybe a couple of more FPS. I mean, we weren't really seeing 60 plus at all times at 1080p or 900p, so maybe at 720 that will be possible. But again, look at that GPU utilization. It would be possible if it was maxed out, but it isn't, unfortunately. Yeah, I think there is a little bit of a difference. There's definitely a little bit of a difference. We didn't really touch 100 frames per second before. Hi, Jacqueline, how's it going? Now, Jacqueline, we don't like Jacqueline. <laughs> That was a nice jump, Jacqueline. You tried to run away, but you couldn't. Uh, anyway, <laughs> let's go. I'm not going to kill her, of course. We, we will kill Bob. Uh, but anyways, we don't like Jacqueline. She cheated on Jack. It's not really dropping, though. So if you must have the 60 plus FPS experience all of the time, where is Bob? I guess he, he didn't spawn again. I mean, this is exactly how it should be. You kill Bob once and he never spawns again. Yeah. All right, maybe he, he is sick of dying here in GTA 5. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but uh, looking at the results here, it doesn't seem like it is going to drop from 60. Maybe down there. I guess it's actually more intensive. Oh, my. Am I stuck? No, I'm not. What the hell just happened? I, I don't have a clue. Um, nice. We got this. We got this. <laughs> maybe down here things will become a little bit more intensive, actually. Uh, because this is where we saw the least FPS before at 1080p resolution. Hmm, yeah, it's not really dropping into the 50s now. So, if you again, if you must have that 60 plus FPS experience all of the time, this is the way to go. Another stutter there. Not too bad, honestly. Really, really playable. RAM utilization is up there because this game has a RAM leak issue. So that's completely normal. Well, 60 plus is possible after all. I've only seen it dropping into like 60 flat. So uh, not too bad. Hey, very, very nice actually. Now we're back to 1080p resolution on the normal settings and I am going to play a little bit of online right now, uh, which is a lot more CPU intensive. This is why I don't test it very often in my GPU benchmarks. But since this is like a full system benchmark anyways, um, I'm going to test online in this one. Okay, so now we should be a bit more CPU bound and we will see less FPS because of it. It's just because the GPU utilization is not as high as in single player, um, basically because there are more people playing this uh, right now and we gotta render every everyone else in the server and it's intensive on the CPU side of things. No, I don't want, I don't, shut up, goodbye Lamar. Oh, oh, what, what is this? I have sound. Oh, what the? So apparently I need to disable the music in the online as well. Yep, it's copyrighted. Okay, let's grab a decent car now and try not to get exploded. <laughs> the sunset colors are looking really beautiful, by the way, even on normal settings. And uh, we still have reflections there in the car. Look at that. Or on the car. <laughs> English is hard, okay? Sometimes I say in and I mean on. Honestly, this is still pretty okay. This is not very intensive what we're doing right now of course you can go like to the casino area for example that i have no idea what it is uh, but a lot of people told me that you do get insane fps drops in that area uh, but again that's because a lot of players are there probably and um you will get more cpu bound dropping into the lower 40s at the moment still okay i mean this is a totally playable experience don't get me wrong but it's far from the smoothness of the story mode and that's to be expected this looks like a building in portugal actually i remember seeing it in real life another issue with testing gta online is you will see different results in different servers depending on how many people are running around and trying to kill each other and stuff yeah gosh i hate it when that happens all right Okay, we're good, we're good. Is Bob around here in online as well? We must kill that bastard. Where is he? I'm coming for you, Bob. I don't think he's here. I don't think Bob is in online mode. Or maybe he's home already because it's nighttime. I don't know. Uh, what? This is a little bit different, isn't it? No, this is Jack's Hill, right? Yes, this is Jack's Hill. Okay, 
Anyways, I think that's it for online. Basically, you'll see 10 less FPS with specs like these, and it's still completely playable at the 1080p resolution. So uh, I would definitely play like this all day long, no problems whatsoever. So let's bump it up to the high settings now. I'm gonna enable FXAA, set these to the middle of the sliders and set everything else to high aside from a couple of settings like uh, post effects, which introduces motion blur, I hate it. This one, we can actually set it to 16, it's not intensive. And uh, yeah, these are the high settings. I'm gonna apply it and restart the game. All right, so I believe that these are the settings that I utilized in the Sunday video. Maybe not with anisotropic filtering set to 16 times, but uh, yeah, it was pretty similar to this. So this will be a pretty smooth experience. As you can see, the reflections on the car look absolutely amazing right now because of that MSAA on the reflections. And the shadows look much better, pretty much everything looks much much better textures as well if I stop right here looks pretty damn good and we are getting the right gosh damn it stop doing that stop being in front of me dudes please I am the one playing the game you should be here basically <sighs> we get like 10 less FPS than normal settings and I think it's absolutely worth it uh, to trade those FPS for this better quality that you get. I mean, at this point, I would say that these are the best settings that you can use with a little PC like this one, with an i5 11th gen and Intel XE graphics, uh, because it's super playable. It's a single player title, so you don't really need 60 plus FPS all of the time. And. Uh, no! That guy is Bob's friend, he wanted to die. And I mean, from now on. It like, if we increase the graphics a bit more, it won't really look that much better and the performance should be way worse. Oh, wait, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, I want that car. The yellow car is beautiful, goes well with the channel logo, you know? Look at that. Don't ask me how I remember this, but I remember using this car for a thumbnail uh, with the GTS 150 test in GTA 5. Yep, I I'm pretty sure it was this car and it was right there and we'll probably use it again here because this is looking really really nice actually so let's go and kill bob i mean visit jack once again 30s okay not too bad it's higher 30s anyways so completely doable here very very playable attach a controller to this and it will actually be a ps4 like experience hi jack how's it going do you like my new car buddy no he just runs away every single time. I wish he would actually go the other way to eat Bob or something. That would be great. Did he fall? No, he's right there. Doesn't he even eat, eat bunnies for some reason? There he is! Oh! Oh! He got hit! Did he die? No, he didn't die. It's all good. It's all good. Where, where are you? Eat, eat the bunny? No, of course not. He doesn't want to do anything. Uh, why are you going? Of course, he always runs away from me. It's so weird. Like, the other cars? Fine, I'm just gonna go with the other car, but not you, Chris. I hate your guts. Are you guts? Sorry, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> the physics on the bunny were not really right. Okay, anyways, I don't know where Jack is right now. He successfully got away and uh, yeah, as you can see, not dropping from 30. Frame time is not completely flat, you know, but it is very, very nice and st and it doesn't feel stuttery. And I guess I'm not really sure if this one is Bob or if it's this one, so I'm going to kill both of them. Yeah, see, even the police don't doesn't care about Bob because I'm not being wanted right now. Okay, let's try it out at 1600 by 900 next. High settings now. And uh, advanced settings all turned off. Okay, now we're seeing it in the 60s. That's a noticeable difference now. Yeah, it wasn't really that noticeable on normal settings, but now I can clearly tell the difference just by moving the mouse around. It feels a little bit better, although we're in the 50s now. Still far from perfect, obviously. Perfect would be 60 frames per second, but this is pretty damn nice now. Still drops into the 40s, though, whenever you are driving really fast and loading a ton of stuff into the CPU. And here we go! Boy, there it is! Good jump! Not bad whatsoever! Don't, 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 don't fall! Okay, we're good. We're fine. We're fine. Getting 50s instead of lower 40s and 30s around here. Not too bad. Yeah, I mean, it is a noticeable difference. It's not like normal. 
Hi, Jacqueline. How's it going? Can you tell me where Jack went? Please. You also don't like me, do you? What if I get out of the... No, no, you just move. I want to see it around these bushes. Yeah, it's not really dropping into the 30s anymore. I think this is basically a 40 plus FPS experience all of the time at 900p. And it's a 30 plus FPS experience all of the time at 1080p. All right, 1280 by 720. Everything is still the same, obviously. And... Uh, all right, let's see if we can get like 50 plus like this. That would be great. Maybe we can. Look at that. Damn. I mean, it's so weird because CPU utilization is pretty much the same as the other settings. GPU usage is lower, but we're still getting a little increase in FPS every single time we drop the resolution. I just wish we could utilize the full GPU here. That would be amazing. We'd probably get around like 90 frames per second like this. Yeah, it's it's far from 60 most of the time. If you're driving fast, of course, maybe just, just grab a, a little scooter or something like that. <laughs> and then the, the CPU won't have to work as hard and then you'll, you'll be fine. You'll get more FPS or, or just walk everywhere maybe. Oh, we want to go there. Okay, we got this. We got this. That was really close. It's pretty weird that whenever I test uh, GPUs, that's not Bob. That's not Bob. That's that's, uh, that's that's Bob's mom, I guess. And you? Who are you? Who are you? Bob's sister. I knew it. Go to hell, you bastard. <laughs> I'm sorry. But if it wasn't for them, Bob wouldn't have come out the way he did, so I blame them as well. Yeah, it doesn't really drop too much from 60 in this area. Sure Super coming. playable and smooth, and I, I like it. I like it. Okay, we're playing online at 720p resolution, high settings. Not too bad, getting 50s here, but of course nothing intensive is happening. I don't care, Lamar, stop it. Stop calling me. Actually, isn't Lamar call in Spanish like la malo la ma <laughs> I, don't, I don't know sorry sorry I know I suck at driving but you suck more because you're an NPC ha who won that fight me of course you know what this is pretty similar to what we saw before in online we get around 10 less FPS uh, maybe not even that compared to story mode uh, here at high settings in 720p resolution at least. I wonder if it's the same at 1080p as well. Here we go, 9020 by 1080 high settings and okay. I guess it's around the same as we've seen in story mode. That this guy has all of the fault basically. You know, like according to the rules. Oh my God, the car is completely destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't care. It still works. But yeah, comparing to the story mode It's really similar the FPS that we're getting right now around like mid 40s so Maybe we're getting like a couple of less FPS compared compared to story mode But it's probably because we are GPU maxed out at high settings in 1080p resolution and uh, Well, the CPU doesn't really play as huge of a role basically Again, this is why we would see exactly zero FPS difference between online and single player whenever I'm testing GPUs with my 5900X because the 5900X basically won't bottleneck anything in online. Uh, maybe like a 3080 Ti or something. But hey, uh, Jack is not here. I just remembered. Yes, there are no animals in online. See, this is... Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't commit of oh my God. Okay, here we go guys 1080p resolution very high settings and I think this is the demise of the Intel XE or Intel Iris XE graphics So unfortunately, we shouldn't really be able to get 30 plus all of the time but honestly the PS4 and Xbox one are also not capable of getting 30 plus all of the time so if it doesn't drop too much by Jack's Hill, this could be a playable experience. It is totally playable, especially if you pair it with a controller and lock the FPS to 30 for a more consistent experience and smoother one. Yeah, not too bad. I expected worse things here. Don't care anymore. I don't care. There are a ton of people around here because we're not 
playing on normal or high anymore and we actually use that population slider all the way to the maximum so it's much harder to not hit people it's all right oh boy look at that it doesn't really drop all that much we've seen 29 so far i'm actually impressed guys this is pretty impressive hi jacqueline how are you going? i'm not gonna lie I, I was really expecting way lower results especially because this area is usually more intensive on gpus okay look at that 26 27 it's not dropping more than a ps4 would so i guess it's not too bad guys goodbye bob okay so 1600 by 900 i'm gonna quickly test 900p and 720p here i don't think a ton of people will play at these resolutions but maybe if you're looking into playing at very high uh, these are the way to go yeah i guess we are now fully gpu bound probably and that's why we're seeing a bigger difference i think because like 40 to 30 is a huge difference in terms of smoothness and fps uh, but like 60 to 50 wasn't when we tested normal settings, for example. We haven't seen Jack here at the very high settings yet, so we gotta visit that bastard. Maybe he's hidden somewhere. Where is he? I don't see him. He's usually here, I think. God damn, that, that's a beautiful jump, actually. <laughs> oh, there he is, that's my boy. How's it going, buddy? Yeah, I think I'll leave it right there. Doesn't drop from 30 anymore at 900p very high. So if you must play at very high, yeah, this is probably the way. Oh, and I've seen one of your comments saying that um, this game is also very intensive during explosions. That is true, but it doesn't really drop more than in grassy areas, honestly. I have tested it. All right, finally 720p at very high settings and... Yeah, I'm not gonna test online with these settings, by the way. I think you should stick to high once again. And look at that. It is now pretty smooth, actually. 50s, high 40s inside of bushes. Looks great. If you have a smaller monitor, this is definitely a possibility here. Very high. Driving fast down into the 40s and 50s at times. Yeah, it's pretty playable. Like, it is actually playable with every single setting that we tested today. So, that's impressive for Intel Iris XE graphics, guys. So, I'll leave it right there. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below to show your support. Yeah, I will probably see your comments and try to answer to everybody, as I usually do. And as always, I love you all. Bye-bye.